You threw the pill, man. It's positively thrown. Like a rainbow. <laughs> a positive rainbow of pill. A pill bow. And now you know, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Brett Crook. I'll have my valet bust this after the show. How <laughs> uh, the heck are we now? Warming up to it. You know, today's been a pretty good day. We got in here, we've got, like I said, we've got some new lights, we're working out some new things. Good days, bad days. Saturday, Saturday was kind of the best of both for me. You know, I, I was reminded running in a circus, like I do, that you have these, you know, you have these moments where you realize that all luck really is, is where opportunity meets preparation. When it's good, it's awesome. When it's bad, yeah. So that was Saturday. Um, I got asked if we would bring our troop to come work, and this was really exciting. If we would come work for one of our clown mentors. Yay! Yeah. And so he called us up and said, you want to come out and do a thing? And we said, why, yes. And he'd never seen us perform. And so there was no pressure at all. <laughs> and we had no, we were smooth. Everything went wrong. I mean, one of our clowns lost their nose. Oh, no. I couldn't find it while doing their makeup. Oh, no. Fortunately, we broke out the emergency nose. Everything worked out OK. We're like, okay. And then, and then we had a powdering emergency, but we got through that and we got to the show and, and I made us late because I had to load all the stuff and I, I had like a clown act that was unplanned before I was in costume, trying to get everything out of the back of the vehicle, into the car, onto the cart and up into the show. We got into the show and it was like magic. We just lit up and we did our thing and we were, we were doing pretty good. And I took the stage and I walked up front and there were these little kids and in between the shows, we were doing a show every hour and in between the shows, I would go out and I'd play with the kids, kind of talk to them, kind of like we do here, you know, it's like this, only we have cocktails. <laughs> so I'd walk up and I'd walk up to them and I'd go, are you having fun, you ready? Can I do a trick here? And, and there was like three kids right like a foot away from the front of the stage. And the first one's like, golly, yes, Mr. Clown. <laughs> Mr. Clown. <laughs> And the second one is, the second one looks at me, and she's a little girl with these big eyes, and she just says, can't you just sit with us instead, Mr. Clown? I am like, right after the show, I'm hanging out with you guys. We're going to get cocktails in about 18 years, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> so I look at the last guy, and I'm like, the last little guy in a Spider-Man shirt, and I think, what do you think? And he looks at me and he says, I'll punch you in the ween. <laughs> Two out of three and I did my act from like here. And it was still, I did okay. Things were good. I had to project a little more. But I got through it and it was okay. And I was really freaked out because that happened like one minute before our act. And then the guy, the mentor, comes up to me. He says, you know, for the last show, we're just, we're just going to do a little hodgepodge. Just keep your ear open, and, and when you get the chance, come on up, and we'll, we'll do a show. I said, OK, hodgepodge. All these weeks of Mondays of improvisational theater paying off. So I got ready, and he said, and now the juggling gents. And of course, as you met Alan Blakely last week, Alan and I work together as jugglers. So we walked up there, and without telling me, Alan grabs a roller bola. For those of you who don't know what a roller bola is, it's when you take a little tube and a board and you stand on that like it's a cautionary tale. <laughs> and you did exactly that, and we start passing clubs. And the kids are like, ooh. ooh. And the kids are like, ah. ah. The little guy over there is like, I'll punch you in the wing. <laughs> and Alan, is going and I'm going and things are going really well. And all of a sudden I look and I realize I'm looking straight ahead and I can see Alan's feet. Oh no. My brain goes into the matrix bullet time. I realize that Alan is four feet off the ground off the stage, the roller has gone into the wings, 
and I can't find the board. Alan, as time speeds up, hits the stage with a thud. I'd like to point out that he's not here tonight, but that's not because of this. He's okay. Unfortunately, I mean that in the circus way, which is, I'm injured, but I'm going to live. I realize at that moment the board has gone into the audience, and my career flashes before my eyes, and it's been about this long. And I run out, I feel like, Alan, bleed to death there, I'm busy. And I run out there, and, and Catherine Chambers is posy to her credit. I grab the board, I pull it behind me, and I uncover a kid. And I think, that's it, we're done, career over. There's no coming back from that moment. And he looks at me, and he looks at the kid in the Spider-Man shirt who's been threatening to punch me in the wing, <laughs> and he says, whoa. And I look at him, and we're all like picking him up and turning, and he's like, put me down. I'm good, he's this tall. And then he freaks out, but he's unhurt. And I'm thinking, okay, next hurdle, is Alan dead? Alan's already standing back up, he's alive. He's alive. I am like, all we have to do is walk off the stage, and Dick says to us, go do the trick again. The, the mentor, Dick Monday, says, go do the trick again. All of the kids at some point have taken two steps back. Brightest kids I know. Spider-Man shirt notwithstanding. <laughs> and we start juggling, and Alan nails it. So huzzah for him, and he's alive, and that's good. And I catch the kid after the show, and I pour my heart out, I am so sorry, I'm so, and he says, um, and this is where I realize, this is, this is kind of a cool kid. He says to me, he says, you think maybe you could teach me how to juggle? Circus Freaks card, pin, stuff, show up on these days, website, mom, please don't sue us. <laughs> the good news is he's actually going to be joining us and we're gonna be teaching him circus arts at some of our upcoming events. So that was a big victory. And it broke the ice. And it broke the ice and everything was good. And our mentor, he walked up to us and he said, well, you looked through it. He walked off. Gave us some good notes and said, come back and we'll look forward to working with you again, which is also a nice thing to hear. Yeah. And then later that night, we had another show, which was also entirely driven by bad luck. You see, three years prior, one of my good friends, a hoop dancer, had gotten the flu on show night for a few days before. And she called and said, can you save me? We have no show. I had founded a circus troupe called the Circus Freaks three days prior. I said, sure, we can put something together. We had never rehearsed. We had never planned. We never performed. But this bit of bad luck meant that we started a tradition of going to a very small show once a year and performing our hearts out. And so we got to go back there again. And Alan and I did the same show that night. And since there were no small children in the front row, we didn't kill anyone. It was a great moment, we nailed it. Of course, none of it's on video, but what I took away from this was, this was like the worst day of my performing career. Children had circus props embedded in them briefly. Somebody threatened to vital organs. I just, you're gonna be a punch in for hours. <laughs> and yet, through all of that, I realized in this moment where I was completely dying, but nobody actually was, that I was having a good day. I got to perform with a guy who taught me half of what I know about being a clown. I got to do an act that's really hard. I got to do an act later that night that was perfect. And nobody died! Yeah. None of it holds a candle to one thing, though. At the end of it all, I knew. Good day, bad day, doesn't matter. Eventually, it would be a Monday, and I would get to tell you guys about it and have this victory. Thank you for coming, and welcome to the open stage. Yeah.